Okay. This is something that I recently picked up. It is vinyl. It is a long time since I bought myself some vinyl because, in my opinion, it is too expensive today with not enough quality. Anyways, this is something that I picked up from the 50s store where they also sell jukeboxes and stuff. And let's open it. have we here so what have we here the 50s store retro fashion and living as you can see all kind of things to make the perfect 50s 60s environment record zine record store day oh, this is interesting normally I don't buy anything on uh, paper anymore but when it comes with this the least i can do is have it maybe inspired to look up some of these um, albums and see if there's something for me have fun with what you bought the price and this is it this is his hand in mine by elvis maybe you don't know but elvis was actually pretty religious it helped him through some difficult times and that is when he also made this album it is if you ask me it is a beautiful album now i am not a religious guy but the invisible man in the sky has of course inspired some people to make wonderful music and well if it's beautiful i will listen to it um Let's open it up because it is also colored vinyl. It should be. I mean, it says so over here. There you are. Sorry, forgot to put it on camera. Oh, in a clear. Now this was a long time ago that I bought some vinyl and I was thinking when this was coming in, it finally just now came in, I was thinking why not take you with me on a tour of the vinyl that I have and I have a lot but most of it is second hand but there's a bit of a substantial uh, uh, part that I bought new like this one um, with my own money and I thought, why not show you what I have? So, here we go. And here we are. So I'm going to take you through the records that I bought new with my own money. And there are actually a lot of them, so I'm going to try and keep the tempo up high a little bit. Uh, this one is actually a little bit of a cheat because I did not buy it and I did buy it. But this record from the famous Opus 3 level came with my turntable, the clear audio. It was included in the box which was very nice and as you may expect from this recording label recording quality music quality sound quality absolutely amazing here we go on to Marike Jager this is a Dutch singer and I have seen her live a lot of times and I make a habit of it as much as possible when I go to a live artist, especially a Dutch one, I will buy some of their records. And this is one of them. It has a nice... Uh, it is just one record, but it has this wonderful fold-out. And as you can see, it is signed also. This one I got to have, of course, Melody Gardot. Wonderful voice, wonderful music, wonderful sound. This one uh, should be in your collection. This is something that you may have never heard. This is a German girl, if I remember well. And this is a bit more dark sounding music, but something like Voyage Voyage. No, 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 Wonder is the one that is actually the reason that I bought this album. It is a bit of a haunting sound. Um, yeah, look it up give it a try soap and skin 
This is, of course, the famous Ricky Lee Jones, her first album named Ricky Lee Jones. This is on uh, 180 grams vinyl, and I love this album. I already had it, but not in the 180 version, so I picked it up. And here we have Alain Toussaint. We lost him, I believe he died last year. Unfortunately, he has made some great music. And this, The Bright Mississippi, is a great album. Maybe you recognize him. And this is one of those albums that is also nice. Big two folds. Two folds. I have to look up what is the correct name for such a double album but this one is just wonderful okay let's move on another audio file classic we get requests one that should be in your collection wonderful recording wonderful sounds this one of my favorites Björk her first album I love the artwork and I love the picture on the side on the front here this is something that I can look at all day she has a fascinating face the wonderful Johnny Cash of course one of the recordings that he made when he almost uh, died um, still a bit of a fragile voice but still you can hear the power that he once had this is also also a wonderful album of course, Eva Cassidy, the famous Songbird album. I picked this one up in uh, Berlin, where I went to a record store. The time that we went to Berlin, I tried to visit as much record stores as I could. I picked this one up and the owner of the store, he said, well, put it on. So I also got to hear it there on a very good turntable, good system. And somewhere at the beginning of the first track, there was a bit of a strange noise in the recording, not in the recording, but on the vinyl. And he offered it me even uh, cheaper. He said, if you still want it, I give you a discount. So I did. Also picked up in uh, Berlin, Tok Tok Tok. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't. This is a wonderful album. Two people are playing all these songs. It starts, for example, can you see that over there? 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover by Paul Simon, of course. And he plays the sax. He also plays his mouth. He does a lot of vocal, but not singing, but making noises. And it fits the music in a very, very funky way. So, talk, talk, talk. I wish. Look it up. I believe, yes, this is also one that you can. Let me show you the wonderful artwork. Great stuff. Another Ricky Lee Jones, another audiophile must pop pop by Ricky Lee Jones. This is absolutely amazing recording quality. The, the songs, the music is a little bit somber, a little bit dark, but I love it. Okay, some more. The incredible Jimmy Smith. He is, of course, the famous organ player. And I have some of his records. This uh, also picked up in Germany, Schallplatten Originale. This is also a... I like his music. It's not always as swinging as can be. Sometimes it's a little bit standard, maybe a bit boring, but most of the time this is just wonderful music. Here we go, one of my favorite artists, Dana Kurtz. As you can see, this is also signed. I'll pick up as I just said. Did I say that? I don't know. I did a few takes, so I don't know what I said in the other takes. But when I go to a live concert, I try to pick up their records, if they have any records. You know, support, your, uh, support the artists that you like. And this is a wonderful album there's two volumes of this and these are the live songs and this is also a gatefold so one side and here we have the other side 
this was on CD, but this was one of my first audiophile recordings that I ever bought. I think it was a time that I don't know if there was internet or that we had internet, I don't remember. But I read somewhere that this was a wonderful recording, so I went to the record store, the CD store, uh, listened to it and immediately I knew this is what I what I want. This may not be for everyone, but I just love this album. And when I saw it a little bit cheaper, I believe this was Amazon uh, and the 180 grams uh, edition, I just had to have it. I just love her music. And this is another Dutch album, a Dutch band, six white Russians and a pink pussycat. This is their first album. We have seen them also live, but I picked this up on the second hand market close by. Somebody was selling this. This is another 180 grams audiophile vinyl edition and it is a pink record even. And another one from Dana Courts, the same volume one, also signed because if I go two times to somebody, I will mostly, depending on how much I like the music, I will support the artist again and buy the vinyl again. That's just what I do. Let me know in the comment section if you buy only when you go to a concert, only when you like the music or also because of supporting the artist. Now I must say nowadays, now let me say this different. In those days that I went there, albums were about 15 euros and they're now 25 euros. So that I don't do it now every time, but well, this is another Dutch lady that I picked up just in a regular record store, Matilda something. Um, Nice, easy listening music, beautiful voice. This is one of those albums that uh, is also 180 grams edition that you should be looking at the, uh, the movie. I like the movie, it's very slow. It may not be for everyone, but that is a wonderful movie. And uh, the album itself, a Rai Kuder production is just marvelous. This is really something. If you have a turntable, this is one of the things that I would recommend to have. Sit down, turn down the lights and just enjoy the whole album. Tom Waits, I believe there was a time that these were very affordable on um, Amazon. I believe Amazon Germany that I picked them up. And um, yeah, when I see something from Tom Waits, I'll just pick it up. I love his music not everything of course but most of the time this guy is just wonderful this another lady that i love alela diana i have been to her concerts also this one it was too too many people so it i don't believe it is uh, signed but i love her music is this a double yes it is double but oh it is in a it is in a gate fold. Focus. Very simple. Um, simple the correct word. I mean, it is just smooth folk. More Tom Waits, Blood Money. Wonderful album. You gotta love this guy. And of course, the wonderful Marvin Gaye, what is going on. Perfect edition, wonderful, important, historic record. And this was not about good times. So he is standing in the rain to show you that it is not a good time let me pick up some more we're not even halfway should i pick up speed i don't know 